Most players settled on using the Elytra to travel, such as me, but what was once a great feature turned into a bad habit. Even if I just want to move like 10 blocks, I use the Elytra. And in order to change this, I set myself the challenge to not use the Elytra anymore. So let's put this in here. But now I have a problem, I need a new way to travel. There were multiple options, horses, tridents and so on, but I choose rails. Normally when I walk out of here, I jump over here and then fly down, but now... <laughs> Yeah, I don't have the Elytra anymore. It's a bit weird. Here I have some materials I will need for the train station. And I will also need some redstone. Then I started to build the train station. Until I heard some mobs below me. There's a cave. Since I don't want to hear mobs every time I'm in the train station, I lit up the cave. After that, I could continue building. Somewhere in this room is a hidden door. And if enough of you subscribe and like, I'm gonna open it for you. 3, 2, 1. Okay, looks like you did it. There you go. Okay, this is the very basic structure. You can see it a little bit. Here are gonna be the rails. And this is the platform for the passengers. Then I quickly added a roof and found some unused space. So it looks like there's a lot of place under the roof. I'm sure I'm gonna put a clock right here. Like a little version of this one. So maybe I could add some real clocks in a system. So it always rings when a train leaves or arrives the station. You know what? I think I might do this. It sounds like a great idea. And this is how the finished thing is gonna look like. Kind of. Because, you know, you can see it looks really new. So I have to make this look a bit more run down. Yeah, because it looks too clean. I don't know. I wanna make it look a bit more rough and more, a bit more older. But first I'm gonna build the railway system. Yep, I will need this one. And a book and quill. Then a block here and one here. Comparator here and the redstone on top of here. This is just to get the redstone signal down here. Where I will build the system. For this I also needed some rails. So I took the last bits of gold I have to craft some. The gold pile is getting tinier and tinier over time. After this I placed the rails and built the system. And this is the railway system. I know it might look a bit weird for you right now, but trust me, this is the perfect system for this. This is exactly how I wanted it to look, with these little shadows here, that's perfect. I think the only thing left to do is to connect, is to connect the system with the rails. So let's do this. So I brought a lot of minecarts, so I will have enough spare minecarts. Basically, you just drop them all in here and now this thing is ready. And now I just walk into here, press right click and let's go. When the train station was finally finished, I started to dig out a long tunnel for the rails. I've been digging a lot, but digging this out with hand takes a lot of time and it destroys my pig eggs. So I brought some TNT. Now I have 4 TNT, let's see how this will work. Yeah, okay, <laughs> this is a bit too much, but it works. Maybe I should only use one TNT. Looks like there's another train nearby. We just passed the first destination. And yeah, it's gonna be the industrial city, you know, you know what I mean? But I'm just gonna build a little stop there, just like a little train station. And then it's gonna continue a bit in this direction because this is where my villager trading hall is. Then I connected the rails with the industrial city. I mean rails are faster than walking but I mean these are rails. They should be a lot faster than walking. Why are rails so slow? Or oh, minecarts. I think rails should be maybe as fast as the elytra or something. Then it would actually be really useful, you know? Don't worry, the complaining is over now. After this, I set up the stop system at the industrial city and built a nice looking railway. And yeah, of course, I'm gonna make the tunnel look a lot better. Just first I wanna make it functional, so it works. And then I'm gonna make it look good. Look at this, the chimneys are almost completely oxidized. And this right here is the stop I was talking about. Let's say I'm coming from over here. 
there we go and then i'm gonna stop right here and now if i press the right button who wouldn't guess it i'm gonna continue forward and if i press the left one i'm gonna go to the left let me just show you if i choose to go left then the minecart is gonna stop right there and now we're going down in the, in the tunnel and as you see i'm going for a bit older design with hanging um, with hanging lanterns but i like this one and then we're going up to the train station and as you saw i turned this redstone contraption into a tube which looks really nice i like the look and over here you can see a really nice looking railway not my own design by the way i found this but it's easy and it looks nice so i built this so i would call this project finished oh another thunderstorm maybe i'm gonna add the redstone contraptions with the bells under the roof here but i think i might do this in between episodes and also continue the railways i would also do this in between episodes a bit so so i'm gonna end it here hope you enjoyed if you want to see more definitely check out this video until then bye bye